Welcome to another treatment of the Sunday School lesson. Today's lesson is for August the 18th, 2024, and the title of today's lesson is Human Mortality and God's Eternality. Now, real quick little reminder is today's lesson is taken from the Radiant Life Adult School, Sunday School book, and that is published by the Assemblies of God. And you can order your own copy by giving them a call at 855-642-6011. And I want to note that I am not being compensated for making that announcement, but because I am using their lesson plan to set the Bible verse, I want to make sure that I let you know where you can buy a Sunday School book from. Psalms 91 and 2. A prayer of Moses, the man of God. Lord, through all the generations you have been our home. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. Now, David wrote many of the Psalms, but as you can see here, not all of them. Moses wrote this one. These verses underscore the pre-existence of God. Before anything existed in the universe, there was God. He is the first cause. Nothing brought him into being because he has always existed. Psalms 93 and 5. You turn, to pe you turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. For you, a thousand years are a passing day, as brief as a few night hours. You sweep people away like dreams they disappear. They are like grass that springs up in the morning. God's perspective on time is much different than ours. God seems, sees all eternity as if it's a single instance. God is e eternal. We are temporal. Psalm 90, 6 and 8. In the morning... It blooms and flourishes, but by evening it is dry and withered. We wither beneath your anger. We are overwhelmed by your fury. You spread out our sins before you, our secret sins, and you see them all. God sees the secret sins. There are no sins hidden from the all-seeing God. Psalm 90, 9 through 11. We live our lives beneath our, your wrath, ending our years with a groan. Seventy years are given to us. Some even live to eighty. But even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Soon they disappear and we fly away. Who can comprehend the power of your anger? Your wrath is as awesome as the fear you deserve. Friends, we all experience bad times. Our lives start and stop. Always look to God for your help. Psalm 90, 12 through 13. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. O oh Lord, come back to us. How long will you delay? Take pity on your servants. 
Look to the Lord. Pray for his mercy. Remember our weakness and shortness of our lives. Psalm 90, 14 and 15. Satisfy us each morning with your unfailing love, so we may sing for joy to the end of our lives. Give us gladness in proportion to our former misery. Replace the evil years with good. God has unfailing love for us. That is, even if we receive chastisement, God still loves us. We must sing of his glory. Psalm 90, 16 and 17. Let us, your servants, see your work again. Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord, our God, Show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. Look for the glory and goodness of God. Depend on God for his sustaining power. Well, friends, I want to thank you for listening to us for this week's Sunday School lesson. If you would like to contact me, you may email me is the best way, donnybryson at gmail.com, or you can go to my website, www.gospelmailbox.org, or you can even call me on my cell phone, 423-355-3859. Well, friends, good Lord willing, I'll be back with you next weekend.